Yes, fellow Biafrans, lovers of freedom. If you watch now, you will understand that nobody want to show his face to say anything concerning our freedom. Go and now check last time when there is an election in Nigeria. Barack Hussein Obama rise up and say Nigerian is a task. Everyone must pay. If you watch today now, you will see that the Nigerian government in America, they said that we have to come and uh, vote for our own right. But what they are not telling us that is our right to live and our right to survive. When you come again and you understand how everybody descended on Simon Eba from DOS to Idu, from Idu to Ifan Yejiofo, from Ifan Yejiofo to petition, from petition to bounty, from bounty to INEC, from INEC to everywhere, now they are in Nigeria. And uh, the last battle of whatever that Mazen Namdekano is doing, and the last battle that made Ojuku to stand up and declare Biafra for the very first time has come to surface, which is the agenda of Usman Danfodio, which you have already seen Atiku Abubakar going to the tomb of Usman Danfodio to play the highest sacrifice. Because the Fulanese says they are now in charge. Since Usman Danfodio entered Nigeria since 19, 1904, Nigeria has been in problem. No economical system, no educational system, no electricity, no road, no good life. Today, you don't have access to your money in the bank. All these things are the system and the systematic of Usman Danfodio on how to capture Nigeria and the place the Quran down to Atlantic Ocean. And this Usman Donfodio, which Peter Obi has bowed to his own agenda, which every representative from Biafran land has bowed to their own, to Usman, Usman Donfodio agenda. Now, we are now telling you that even America is tired of keeping Nigeria as one. UK is tired of keeping Nigeria as one. United Nations is tired of keeping Nigeria as one because they know that whatever they do against the children of God will backfire against them. That the agenda of Usman Donfodio is exactly coming. And if Nigeria failed to disintegrate this particular February and this particular 2023, you know that the agenda, puro, 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 agenda of Usman Donfodio and the agenda of the Fulanese is to create Usman Donfodio like a Mohammed. Is to create Usman Donfodio like a Jesus. Is to create another powerful religion that will, they will use force the same way they are trying to Islamize Nigeria, to Islamize the world. They are circulating their own religion all over the world. We believe that the disintegration of Nigeria is a help to humanity. We believe that the disintegrating Nigeria is helpful to mankind. We believe that the Biafra is the light of the whole world. And whenever the Biafra is being declared, peace will reign back to this universe once again. And that's why we are here defending and proclaiming what we believe in. We have no other home. We may be born inside Nigeria. We may grow up inside Nigeria. But, but um, this uh, governor of um, Ebony State, Umahi, Ugwai, Soludo, all the governors... You may be serving Nigeria, but your DNA is Igbo. Your DNA is Biafra. Nigeria can never let you develop 
everything good you have inside you. And this is the reason we believe that Nigeria must be disintegrated. Nobody is talking now against Simon Eber. Show your face. Speak if you know that, you, that keeping Nigeria is good. Give us one reason. Nobody has been able to bring one single reason out. And for this reason, we are marching forward, claiming what belongs to us, that our life will belong to us. We have to defend our life. Self-defense is never a crime in this life. And the disintegration of Nigeria is the best thing that can ever happen to this universe for peace to reign.